Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Just got a quick, uh, not unboxing, but uh, just a couple of knives I got recently and I'm pretty excited about them and uh, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, so, uh, yep, and a uh, real quick update. Uh, I got some toad blades over there. See them? And some weird ones, some bigger friction folders I'm going to be making. Uh, just two of them. Uh, this guy, I'm going to make this one like really... Uh, uh, just really decorative and just really classy as I drop it. And, uh, this one's just gonna be weird. You know, we'll see what happens with those. But uh, anyway, so the D2 blades are pretty much done. Just need, I mess up the logo on a few of them and just basically just put a new polish on it. And, but anyway, <clears throat> first off, you see in the background here, I got myself, finally got myself a mini onslaught. And this one is the carbon fiber version, the new limited run. Uh, I saw this one, I just had to have it. It's got the blue little standoffs, which are just gorgeous on there. Just really nice carbon fiber. Uh, number 77500 D2 blade. Just a very smooth knife. I mean, I just fucked up my hand pretty bad, guys, so. Um, my finger's a little numb right now. But a uh, nice smooth knife. Very cool. Um, happy I finally got one of these. This background messing everything up. Yeah, that's better. Um, Yep, yeah, really sweet knife, guys. Very happy I have both of them now. I'm probably not gonna sell the other one now since I got this one. So I got both of them. But uh, definitely a good score. And then, uh, you guys know I sold the Horton recently. So, uh, you know, my, my idea was, you know, I sold the Horton for a good chunk of change and um, yeah, I figured I'd get myself a custom that wasn't too expensive. Um, so yeah. I got this guy, I'll show that one last, but first up I'll show you this knife I got yesterday from uh, from uh, my buddy Jack who owns a Sharp Unique Gift for Men, which I'm putting a video up of, I'm just editing it, you guys definitely check it out, it's really cool, it's a tour of the shop and uh, you know just what he's got going on there and uh, some deals on some of my knives I did that are sitting there, uh, you know, definitely uh, going to hook you up with a, a good deal on them. So. Uh, they're already finished and pimped and everything. I did them a long time ago, but you know, just not a lot of people are. Uh, he doesn't have a huge internet following, so I'm going to try to change that. You know, you can uh, get them through me and stuff. So, first up, now this knife I got to explain myself before I show this because some people are going to be like, "What the fuck?" You know. Um, you see, it's a Microtech. Now, I've seen these things for a long time, and I've always just kind of, I kind of thought it was stupid. You know, I'm not a big guy for uh, for like fighting knives and stuff like that. Um, you know, my main thing is trying to push the whole utility thing just so like, you know, you know, we get this, uh, killing people, you know, thing going, get out of here, you know, like everybody thinks, oh, knives are just for killing people or stabbing people. It's a weapon for my, you know, for me, it's, it's a weapon last, you know, if I have to, I'd pull it out as a weapon if I was threatened that much. But, uh, you know, for me, it's utility. You know, this one, you know, some of them don't look like it, but this one is more of a toy. Um... And I've always been curious about having one of these in my collection, and Jack really hooked it up. Uh, so this is a Microtech, nice little case here. It's a Microtech out the front, which is something I've always wanted to check one of these out, but never got to, um, because they're not exactly legal to sell places. Now this one is a is a Katana, a Katana Daytona. Um, as you can see, it's got this is a really really nice one, guys. Really nice. Apparently, it's pretty rare. It's got the glass breaker on the back there. It's like bronze gold uh, nice pocket clip very secure unfortunately we're carrying this really so uh, it's got the little three dot screws in it with this uh, they call this the bub pattern I guess uh, I think it's titanium inlays and nice glass breakers really nice looking um, but this one yeah I just had to have one of these just for my collection so it was a s30v blade the really neat, like nice gold on there with the splash of silver. I think it's called a Homoan or something like that. A classic Japanese style. A little bit more stylized. And a little micro micro holes in the blade there. But I just wanted in these, you know, just fun to play with while you're watching TV and stuff. I hear they're pretty strong too. I mean I open open some packages with it and stuff and you know, even though I felt kind of weird doing that, but you know, it was nice because it just you're done with it, just pop it right back in there. So, uh, yeah, 
probably should have got like a not as nice as this because I like to use my knives. And this one's kind of pretty, but uh, it's got a pretty thick blade on it. Nice reinforced tip. Nice little spear point. But just overall, just really nice looking. I mean, I saw this one and I was just like, all right, that's the one I want. Well, along with another one, it was a tough choice, a Tonto. I like the Tontos too, but it wasn't as uh, all uh, dressed up as this one is. So, I think it's razor sharp too, guys. Um, now next up, this one is the one I'm most excited about. This is the one I got with the Horton, the Horton money. Uh, this one's more for, uh, you know, basically for some work I'm gonna be doing for Jack in his shop. And, um, but this one just brought this one flat out. And the rest of the money's going towards uh, getting the grinders up. And I have the parts here finally, so. This one is done by Deviant Knives, and I've always worn one of these. You guys may have seen the friction folders, but I didn't want a friction folder. I wanted a nice frame lock knife. So I saw this one go up in the forums two, day, two or three days ago, and I had to have it. And I've been seeing this guy's work. Uh, he's not huge, but he's well known, especially on some of the forums. You guys have probably seen his friction folders. They look a lot like this. Uh, he's licensed. He has a license from Spyderco to use the hole, and uh, this one looks a lot like a Lum Chinese. See, it's a nice, nice size too. It's a really good size for EDC. That's the mini onslaught there. So you can see it's a, a two and a half inch blade maybe. Um, it's A2 steel, which is real good steel. It's got a nice, uh, I think it's a baked on coating on there, so you know to prevent rust. Um, very nice and ergonomic. The G10 work is impeccable here. It's a, it's a tan G10 with a blue sandblasted, or like I think it's like a. It's black, I think, but it has a bluish tint to it. I don't know. But uh, it's nice and sandblasted to give it texture. Just awesome. I mean, this right here, you know, you guys have seen me do bolsters, but, you know, it's cut in and on a curve. That's just really, really, really nice. I mean, just a lot of attention to detail went into that. But, uh, you know, the reason I got this thing is because it's a titanium frame lock. So you can see it's nice and chubby. Little, little tiniest bit sticky, but I'm just gonna carbonize it. But uh, you know, it opens up very smooth. It's rock solid. It's got nice jimping there. It's a little switch, kind of like the Chinese. Uh, this is a called a Chinese folder, so uh, it's got anodized titanium. Uh, nice pocket clip. Fits very nicely in the pocket. Uh, you can see some of the hand, like some of the, the tooling marks and stuff, which I absolutely dig. I mean, I like seeing. Uh, you know that this thing is perfect. I mean, there's some, you know, some slight stuff here. You can see the machining marks and stuff, but that, you know, it's perfect. I mean, he did a perfect job on it. It looks awesome. Like I like seeing a little bit of uh, tooling marks on there. You know, you can see the process because it's some nice uh, titanium. It's got a little bit of a rough finish on it, which I'm sure was purpose uh, done on purpose because it looks really nice on here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an aluminum backspacer uh, because it is a uh, metallic material and it's very light. Um, if that was sandblasted and it was uh, stainless steel, it would be a lot darker. Um, so that's a cool touch. I was thinking about actually trying that out. Um, it could be G10. I, I haven't taken it apart really, but I think it's aluminum because it's shiny. G10 doesn't shine. Um, the lockup is awesome. Very nice, very smooth. Flip it open. Oh. Flip it open easily. But it's more for like, you know, opening with your like a regular spider coat without flipping it. But yeah, I gotta carbonize that thing. It's a little bit sticky sometimes. But overall it's just a gorgeous package here guys. And uh I've seen these things go anywhere from three to four hundred. And he's got different variations, the bigger ones and stuff like that, different steels and whatnot. The friction folders are very affordable. This one was $325, which is pretty cheap. I saw it for $400. Well, that's just a beautiful knife. I really like it a lot. Check them out, guys. I'll put a link in the bottom. Deviant Knives. Uh, definitely not like the biggest knife maker out there, so like definitely give them your support. And you guys, I know you like this. I mean, there's nobody out there that, that wouldn't like this. I mean, it's just really sweet. It's got a great look to it. This guy actually inspired me to do the Tough Toads. Um, I mean, I didn't realize that it just kind of embedded in my head. 
Uh, his friction folders was so cool looking. So I wanted to do something with a spider hole. And I saw his friction folders and just was blown away. They look a lot like this, uh, but with the tang on there and sometimes smaller, sometimes bigger. But uh, you guys, let me know what you think of, uh, of the, you know, the Microtech. It's cool. Something I just wanted to add to my collection. Play with it. Not carry it ever because it's ridiculously illegal around here. But uh, definitely pretty cool. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll probably have some pimpage videos. I gotta go to the movies with my girlfriend tonight, so uh, I've been working on the toads all day because uh, we're sending them out for heat treat, so they'll be done very soon. Um, I do have a couple spare blades that are already done that just need to be refinished, so a couple of people will get them sooner than others. Uh, but I have to keep one set of scales for fitting. Uh, so, one well, you guys, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you look out for that uh, video. Uh, I did that sharp, unique GIFs. Um, editing it right now, so, thanks for watching. Peace.